she's very competent skier, so it's just getting in the wrong place at the wrong time today. Now at 10, the mother of a woman killed in yesterday's avalanche opens up about her daughter, one of four victims from that tragedy, Mill Creek Canyon. And that avalanche, the deadliest in Utah in nearly 30 years. How you can help these families as the ripple effect of what happened yesterday spreads through communities around our state. Plus, terrifying video captured on a cell phone. We're getting a closer look at the minutes before an avalanche hit a group of snowmobilers in the Uinta Mountains. Live from Utah's first TV station, ABC4 News at 10 starts now. And good evening, it is great to have you with us on this Sunday night. I'm Nick McGurk. Well, behind me are images of a 29-year-old woman. Her name is Sarah Mogamian, one of the four people killed in yesterday's avalanche in Mill Creek Canyon. Tonight, we're hearing from her mother, who says her daughter was an experienced and avid backcountry skier. ABC 4's Jordan Burroughs, outside Mill Creek Canyon tonight. Jordan, you spoke to that mother tonight. In a very emotional conversation with Jill Mogamian, she says her daughter Sarah was a very strong, caring, and compassionate young woman. Sarah, along with three others, died in a backcountry avalanche in Mill Creek Canyon on Saturday. Jill says Sarah moved back to Salt Lake City specifically to be with her two loves. I'm okay right now. Of course, it was terrible news. Life goes on. It sounds cliche, but Jill Mogamian says her daughter Sarah lived life to the fullest. She's a very competent skier, so this was just getting in the wrong place at the wrong time. The time was 1140 Saturday morning when the call came in. Four skiers buried in Mill Creek Canyon while four others unburied themselves and got help. This helmet cam video shows some of the recovery effort. I mean, I'd just like to take this opportunity to tell everyone a little bit about our daughter, Sarah. Sarah Mogamian, one of five siblings, dead at 29 years old. I talked to her last week. She's... She's one of my best friends. A mom and daughter best friend duo. Jill says Sarah moved back to Salt Lake City for two reasons. There she found her two loves. Sarah found her love for outdoor activities, and she found her soulmate, her longtime boyfriend. He was actually the one that dug her out after he dug out two other people. And when he got to her, she wasn't breathing, and he tried to resuscitate her unsuccessfully and he stayed with her until Sarah was no stranger to skiing rock climbing and mountaineering she tried to spend every weekend with a new adventure she was athletic active and always wanted to keep up with her brother's rambunctious lifestyle Jill says she will honor her daughter every day for the rest of her life the three others dead in Saturday's avalanche, all in their 20s. Lewis Hollian, age 26, of Salt Lake City. Stephanie Hopkins, age 26, of Salt Lake City. And also Thomas Steinbrecher, 23 years old, from Salt Lake City. As we learn more about the victims and from the survivors, we, of course, will let you know about that on air at ABC4 and online at ABC4.com. Reporting in Mill Creek Canyon, I'm Jordan Burroughs, ABC4 News. A moving story, Jordan. Thank you. The Utah Avalanche Center says this is the deadliest avalanche in Utah. Well, since 1992, so we're talking 29 years ago in February, four people died in that avalanche. There have been three deadly avalanches since the beginning of the year. Six people have died in just 2021 alone. A GoFundMe page has been created to help the victims' families and survivors of yesterday's avalanche. At last check, the page had already raised more than $3,400. Now, a group called Utah is Rad organized the fundraiser. And organizers say they want an outlet for friends and family and our rad community of backcountry skiers to have a place to show their support. So if you want to donate, we have a link on our website. It's going to be shortly following this newscast. Available there, abc4.com.